engine. In any engine, excuse me, Papa. In any engine, this is the head. You see the head, and you see the block, and you see the head. Guys, follow me. Head and block, and the head, the head have intake valves, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. The intake valves are communicated here with the manifold. Intake manifold. Other intake valve here, other intake valve here, other intake valve here. Ah, this is the intake manifold. This is the air filter. Intake, intake, and those are intake, 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 intake valves. And the other valves, the exhaust valves, are communicated with exhaust, exhaust, exhaust port. Exhaust, 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 intake, 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 intake. Intake manifold, exhaust manifold. Is clear? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, and now I am going to explain the difference between the marine engine, this is a marine engine, and the automotive engine. Let me check the automotive engine, excuse me. Yeah, it's quite different. Look at the automotive engine. What manifold is this? The intake. Oh, exhaust, What manifold exhaust, is this? Exhaust, exhaust. exhaust yes, manifold, sir. exhaust pipe, and bye-bye. Yep. This is the exhaust manifold. Can I have one exhaust manifold on the car? That one, that one, that one, and that one. Look at this. This is exhaust manifold, guys. Look at the exhaust manifold, you see? What is the inconvenience if I try to use, can I use that engine, automotive engine that I have in my pickup truck in my boat? No. Yes, you can. No. Yeah, do modification. But you only need to modify the exhaust and the cooling. Okay. Pay attention, what happened if I put exactly this engine inside of the engine room? What happened with the temperature of this metal, the exhaust pipe? Can I work in the engine room and touch this? No, that's dangerous, no? Okay, I need to modify a little this. Look, this is the automotive exhaust pipe. I protect here with some special thermal element. And this is the exhaust manifold. This is the traditional automotive exhaust manifold. Okay, and in the other side of the head is located, look, the air filter and the intake manifold. Intake manifold, intake manifold, and the air filter. Everybody follow me? Intake manifold here, exhaust manifold here, and the head over there. Good? Okay, pay attention. In this engine, follow me here, follow me here. In this engine, how can I keep the temperature of the block and the head low? Uh, some type of coolant transfer with coolant, coolant. and the coolant Radiator. circulate internally yeah. no mm -hmm. the coolant circulate <clears throat> internally when the temperature of the coolant reach the level recommended by the manufacturer what happened what happened with that coolant it boils. No, the coolant is circulating is circulating when the temperature reach the top it boils that that coolant goes outside oh, and it's coolant is cooled with this element. What is the name of this? Radiator. The radiator. Yeah. Ah, the coolant goes outside. Ah, and it's cooled by the, the fan. The coolant goes outside because here thermostat. the thermostat open and allow that the coolant goes here, enter over there, and return here through the other hose and enter again in the block. And once again, the coolant enter at low temperature. And, the, and what happened with the thermostat? Close again, yeah. and the coolant circulate, circulate, circulate until the temperature rises again. Right. Once again, the, the thermostat open and allow that go up and pan and pan and pan. pan. It's moving. The coolant pump circulate the coolant. Ah, that's the secret. The secret in my car is that radiator. Yes or not? Correct. The radiator and the thermostat keep the temperature control. Control. Good. Okay. Can I, can I install this application exactly like this in my inboard, in my boat with inboard engine, with the engine room closed? No. no. You, you have enough circulation of air to keep the radiator at low temperature? No. no. Probably not. Low of the engine. Uh, this is why mm, <laughs> that solution, I love it, the radiator is good, but uh, inside of the engine room is not good because I don't have air, circulation of air. Okay, how the marine engineer solved that situation? Because basically, we are going to, to, to learn later, the, the inboard 
engine, marine engine, gas or diesel, is an automotive engine adapted to work in marine application. It's not an invention for, for marine. It's, a, it's an automotive invention adapted for the boat. Uh, okay, how the engineers modify this engine to, to be used in, in marine application? They say, we are going to eliminate the radiator. Yeah. Okay, yes, we are going to send the coolant out and we are going to return the coolant. That, that, that's the same. But uh, over there, I am going to replace that radiator for this heat exchanger. Look at this heat exchanger. The heat exchanger, guys, look. They have raw water here coming from the seacock and the raw water mm -hmm. with a raw water pump in the middle. The raw water enter here and the raw water goes out and enter in the exhaust pipe and bye bye. Ah, okay. And here I have coolant and coolant. Ah, that coolant enter here, circulate here, dun, 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 and the coolant return here in the block. Oh, wow, this is the heat exchanger. And the coolant internally is separated from the salt water, it's not touched. The salt water pass around some pipes and the coolant pass through other pipes, it's not touched. My coolant never be mixed with salt water. The salt water pass over there and goes over there and bye bye, no? And the, and the coolant circulate here, ah, because the salt water pass through the pipes, what happened with the Transfers temperature it. of the coolant? Decrease and the coolant return with low temperature here. And wonderful, this is the, the, the heat exchanger that you have uh, in your boat. Uh, there are a lot of heat exchangers in your boat, in a, in a typical engine. You have one of those to, the, to reduce the temperature of the coolant. And oil. You have another one to reduce the temperature of the fuel. Oil. You have another one to reduce the temperature of the transmission oil. You have another one to reduce the, yeah, there are a lot. There are six, five or six. Later we are going to talk. The most common, the most famous is the heat exchanger for the coolant. Yeah. Pay attention to this. No, this is a great question. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Dan. So Look at this. Why are you coolant, water coolant, water? coolant enter over there, you see? Mm. And coolant return here. Oh, that coolant enter here and return here. It's a closed system. That's okay? Yes. And now I have a seacock valve here. The seacock valve enter the raw water. The raw water pass over there and the raw water goes into the exhaust pipe and bye bye. Sea water is usually cooler than... Raw water, raw water, no coolant. The coolant don't touch the raw Wait, water. Wow. All right, that's the heat exchanger. Okay, but the other intelligent engineer said, I am, I am smart, pay attention, come on, come on here. Look at this. One guy said, okay, uh, I have, you remember this, guys? This is the exhaust manifold of the traditional automotive engine, no? And what is the inconvenience with this exhaust manifold in our boat? It's too hot. That's no good. And one guy said, hey, oh, okay, okay. Look at this. That guy said, can you stay here and hold it this one, please, for me? All right. And one guy said, okay, I am going to invent one element that I put together this with this. No, no mix it. It's, it's together, but it's separated. Sure. Okay, this is here touching this one. Ah, when the raw water pass here to cool the coolant, the temperature of this will be coolant, will be reduced, because it's part of the same metal, external metal. Internally, they are separated. The raw water never be mixed with the gases, and, this, and the coolant never be mixed with the so gases. That, that's clear? The and they put thing. together yeah. the exhaust manifold with the heat exchanger here. Mm -hmm. You see? The heat exchanger on top, and the exhaust manifold in the bottom. And right now, and the raw water circulates from here into the exhaust pipe and bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, Boba. Look at this. Look at this. This is the head. Mm -hmm. And I have exhaust valve, exhaust valve, exhaust valve, exhaust valve. And here I have intake, 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 and the intake manifold is here. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, look. Exhaust valve, exhaust valve, exhaust valve. I have gases, 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 and gases and the gases are in the exhaust manifold. This is the exhaust manifold. And the gases goes here. And what is this? Exhaust. The exhaust exhaust. pipe, yeah. the exhaust pipe. Mm -hmm. And on top, together, I have the, the heat exchanger. And the heat exchanger receives salt water. The salt water enter here. The coolant, look at the coolant, the coolant, the coolant, and the salt water enter in the exhaust bulb. In this point, the salt water is mixed with the gases. 
And this is why in the exhaust you have gases with water coming out. Yeah. You like it, guys? Yeah.